Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to link records in Airtable in 2024. Of course, linking records is a powerful feature that allows you to create relationships between items and different tables as an example. So it will also let you improve data connectivity. So in the step-by-step -step guide, I'll show you basically how to link your records so you can keep, of course, all your information connected and streamlined. So make sure to stick by, let's dive right into the video and simply let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll need to go and open a browser. For me here, I'm using Brave. For you, you can use whatever you want. Once you open your browser, just go to the URL section and type airtable.com. Hit the enter button. Of course, if it's your first time, you'll find yourself on this page. So let me just wait for the page until it load. So if it's your first time, basically you'll find yourself here. This is gonna be basically the homepage or main screen if it's your first time, as we said. So you can click on sign in at the top right corner to sign in into your account. And if you don't have an account, click on sign up for free. Of course, you can use a Google account or even Apple ID if you don't want to get through all the boring steps of creating or even logging in into your account. And you can even use this option of single sign on, which means basically that you can go and sign in or sign up for one time and use Airtable for that one time as an example you are there. Once you close the tab that you are not there anymore, you don't have an account. So you cannot go back to whatever you saved there or something like this. Maybe you want you want to use it to create a spreadsheet or a database for just once as an example and download this CSV file or as a PDF and you don't want it anymore. So it's a good option for you. So once you're logged in, basically you'll find yourself in your dashboard. The first thing that you would like to do, of course, to link your records is to create a workspace if you don't have one. Go and click on that plus button at create workspace and that will create your workspace. You can name it whatever you want. For me, I have a workspace, so I'll just go and delete this one. And of course, after creating your workspace, you will have to create some bases in here. So you can start one from scratch, as an example, from the beginning. Or as an example, you can create or upload one quickly, if you want, from one of those tools in here. If you don't find whatever you want to upload from, you can simply submit a request from here. And you can simply ask them to add uh, like the app or whatever you want to upload from. You'll be able to do it as simple as that. So you'll find here, first of all, a list of like a lot of apps that is uh, requested by people. So if you didn't find what you want, you can simply just go and click on other, uh, please provide details below, enter the name with any other details that you want, then click on submit. Other than that, you can use one of the templates that they have. As you can see, start with the templates right here. They have multiple templates to choose from. So as an example, I'll just go scroll down, see all templates to show you. Like they have for each category, multiple templates that you can choose from. So they have templates for management, uh, marketing templates, like uh, all product templates, uh, sales and CRM templates, uh, recruiting templates in HR. Even if you scroll down, you find load more categories. If you scroll down, you'll find load more categories as an example. So a lot of templates that you can choose from. You can start from that as well, or you can use this AI tool. It's still on its beta, I guess, so you will find some problems with it. So even if you like enter here, whatever you want, click on next, you'll find an error. So you'll have to quit and come back again into it. Then once you type whatever you want, example, maybe I want to create like a database as example. So you just type whatever you want, click on next, and the AI will create the perfect match for you. Of course, you can adjust this before going and click on create or use this app. So for me, I'll just go and access one of my projects here of one of my bases example, like this one, why not? And I'll just go here and delete this table because it was created for some test purposes. So as an example here in this uh, base, I have here some four tables. I have some records as an example with it. Of course, you can go to whatever you want in here. So this is an example uh, like a project uh, I have. Of course, I have other ones. Let me just go and show you. So this one was created by a template. Let me show you the one created by AI as an example. So I guess it's this one, right? So let me just go and wait. Yeah, I guess this one with AI. I'm not very sure, but uh, oh, never mind. This is this one. This is the one that was with templates. Yeah. So this is one, the one that was with templates, but the other one that was with AI. So uh, this or project management. Wait, one of them. So yeah, it's this project management. So this one was with AI. The other one was with the template. So as you can see here, you have a lot of tables, a lot of records, and a lot of uh, things in here. You can of course do multiple stuff in here. 
and yeah so you can access everything that you want as you can see from forms interfaces automation you can do some automations and data everything so as we said we would like to link some records so as an example i'll just go here and create a new table and yeah i'll just go and click on add the table why not and yeah starts from scratch why not and i'll just name it t and here i'll just leave it empty and i'll even delete those uh, fields in here that i'll not need so let's delete this one delete this one i'll just go with this and i'll just name those yeah like that so now i'll do, just go and click on another field and here i'll be able to click on link to another record so once i click on link to another record i'll have to choose the table that i want to link it into the record that i want to link it into maybe i want to link it into a record in the project table so i'll just go and click on link to project as you can see you can give it a name if you want so linked i'll just name it linked and here you'll have to edit the settings however you want you can allow link into multiple records if you want to or you can link it to just one you can limit record selection to a view or you can let it edit if you want to but for those two you will need a better plan like a team plan if you want to get them but if you have them as an example you'll be able to filter like record selection by a condition or use ai to show top matches when selecting a record then simply just go and click on create a field and as you can see this field called linked and it's actually linked to records in projects as example so you can click on plus and link them to whatever uh, like records in the project so as you can see now it's linked together as you can see very simple if you click on it you'll be taken to that exact record so that's how you basically link records of course you can link on other records as well maybe here uh, maybe this one and as you can see those names you will find them in the projects in here so as you can see projects Phoenix, eco warriors galactic explorer so this one's as you can see so i linked records together from different tables of course you can even link it i guess from uh, the same table i'm not very sure but i guess you'll be able to do it let me just go and check as an example click on plus link a record as an example in here and yeah you can link it from the same uh, page uh, from the same table as an example so that's going to be it for me today thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next video so goodbye